couple got happily hitched three months ago, Heidi and William Ortega. Our next couple recited their vows 20 months ago, Lisa and Frank Lima. This couple traded rings 11 months ago, Nikki and Eric Dragazette. And our final couple celebrated their union 15 months ago, Felice and Leroy Valentine. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. How nice of you to join us. Hey, it's that day. They're all expecting. And so moms and dads to be, if you're ready to play this game, we're going to send our ladies off to the soundproof booth. Stand up carefully and move rapidly. Now remember, gentlemen, around one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. And remember, each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that fabulous second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone, and these are the dads-to-be. Here we go. First question. Gentlemen, since becoming pregnant, will your wife say her body has developed more nooks and crannies, peaks and valleys, or twists and turns? Leroy. Uh, Bob, I would say twist and turn. Her body's developed more twist and turn. Yes, because um, she always grouchy. And oh, is she really? Yeah, always, always grouchy. Yeah. How many, how many kids do you plan to have? Um, four. 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 Yeah, that's it, four. She's going to be grouchy a long time, man. <laughs> right. I'd say uh, peaks and valleys, Bob. Bobby, Just because uh, starting to... Yeah, peaks and valleys. Starting to... Okay, William. <laughs> More nooks and crannies, peaks and valleys, or twists and turns. I'm gonna say twists and turns, Bob. Twists and turns. Oh yeah, she turns on me. You don't understand. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> I understand. I understand. <laughs> Eric. Definitely say peaks and valleys. Peaks Bob. and valleys. Yeah, she's uh, she's blossoming at a, a middle age. Yeah. <laughs> Her hair turned red too, didn't it? Yeah. Purple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. Will your wife say you would rather have a little baby Gouda or a little baby Gherkin? Frank, what would you rather have? I'd have a little baby Gouda. You'd rather have a little Gouda? Yeah. I'll be darned. I've never heard that before. A little William. Uh, Gouda. Gouda, Bob. You'd rather have a little baby Gouda, too? I think so. Eric, what do you think about this? Definitely Gouda. She loves cheese, so Oh, Gouda's you want a little Gouda. Gouda. Okay. Leroy. Oh, I have to say Gouda, too. You want Gouda, too? Yeah. Four Goudas? <laughs> no Gherkins. Wow. Gentlemen, if you, think about this now. If your most annoying personal habit, your most annoying personal habit, were actually a secret turn-on for your wife, what will she say she would be begging you to do all the time? In other words, what is your most annoying personal habit, William? Dancing. Dancing as, after I come out of the shower, Bob. <laughs> Strip a little bit, take off my towel. You, you dance after you come out of the shower? Yeah, I'm sorry, I do. Oh, no, you don't have to apologize, <laughs> you don't have to, apologize to me. It's your wife, I want you to apologize. She loves it, she loves it. Eric? I'd have to say I'd have to hang stuff all over the house, because that, that... She would beg you to hang stuff all over the house? <laughs> yeah, she would love that. You just hang stuff everywhere? Just clothes and whatever I can find. Just, just be annoying. Well, that's annoying as hell. <laughs> Leroy! I would say uh, play the stereo real loud as you're watching TV. You play the stereo real loud while she's watching Quite, television. Right. Yeah. Frank. It would be to uh, fart the silent but deadly. <laughs> the, the, the scary part is he's going to have a baby. You see. <laughs> we'll be right back to reunite these newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages.
change your passwords often, so we are too. Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> Password Plus, now followed by Super Password. Welcome to whatever this is. Because it's always good to change your passwords once in a while. You understand what I'm saying. Password Plus and Super Password. Tonight, starting at 1 on Buzzer. Let's play. Welcome back to the newlywed game. Now, gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Every time your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a great second honeymoon, after the baby's born anyway. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, all of the ladies are expecting today. Of course, the dads are too. I think that's really great. So if you're ready, ladies, here's your first question. Ladies, since becoming pregnant, would you say your body has developed more twists and turns Nooks and crannies, or peaks and valleys. Nikki, I like your hair. Thank you. Have you been sleeping with the Easter Bunny? <laughs> Don't tell my husband. I, hello, Mr. Bunny. How are you? Has <laughs> your body uh, developed more twists and turns, nooks and crannies, or peaks and valleys, Nikki? I would say peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys. Lots of peaks, lots of valleys. He's been doing a lot of peaking, okay? Yeah. A lot of he said the top card, peaks and valleys. You got it. Sure. Right. <laughs> Heidi. Definitely peaks and valleys. For sure, peaks and valleys. Yeah. yeah he That's said your body's thing. developed. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's a good thing, yeah. He said your body, no, he said twist and turns on your body. You always turn on me. What are you talking about? You're always mad. <laughs> That's true. Lisa. Definitely peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys. He said your body's developed a whole bunch of peaks and valleys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, police, what do you think? I would have to say um, peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys? Yeah. He said your body has developed a whole bunch of twists and turns. Twists and turns. You're always grouchy. You're always grouchy. You know that. You know that. Well, remember that next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question, ladies, would your husband say he would rather have a little baby Gouda or a little baby Gherkin? What do you think he'd rather have, Heidi? A little baby Gouda or a little baby Gherkin? Gouda. Gouda. He said he would love to have a little baby Gouda. See that? Yeah. 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 She doesn't know what a Gherkin is, Bob. Pardon me? She doesn't know what a Gherkin is, Bob. No, she doesn't. No. no. Well, Boy, you don't want to have a Gherkin if you don't know what it is. <laughs> no. Lisa. A uh, baby gherkin. You'd like to have a little gherkin? Yes. Why is that? He has a friend of the last name gherkin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I, don't know, that's, that's, I don't know what a gherkin is. Either. That's the only gherkin I know. A gherkin's his friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Frank said you'd like to have a little baby uh, Gouda. That's what he Gouda. wants to have. Yeah. Mm, uh, Felice, this is a tough question, I know. Now, you don't have any points at this point, <laughs> but this is your chance to get some points. Okay, since gherkin sounds like girl, I would have to say gherkin. You want to have a little baby gherkin? Yes. Yeah. Please, you still don't have any points. Oh, what? Yeah. What did he, he say? He said he wants to have a little gouda. What is a gouda? <laughs> I don't know, but whatever it is, he wants one. <laughs> he said he's never heard of a gouda that was crabby. <laughs> Nikki. I would say a little baby gouda. You only want a gouda? Because uh, he likes Gouda cheese. All right. Eric said he would like to have a little baby Gouda. Yeah. All right. Last of our five-point questions. Ladies, think about this now. If your husband's most annoying personal habit were actually a secret turn-on for you, what would you be begging him to do all the time? What would you be begging him to do, Lisa, all the time? He constantly... Farts. No. <laughs> Constant, incessantly. What's the baby gonna say? Uh, it's disgusting. He he does it all the time and he enjoys it. <laughs> Frank said that uh, it's the fact that uh, he passes gas. You got it. All right. <laughs> hey, police. His most annoying little boy habit. If it were secretly a turn on, what would you be begging him to do? I would have to say to rub his feet. He rubs his feet? He rubs his corns and... <laughs> <laughs> well, no wonder you're crabby all the time. That's why. sitting around rubbing his corns. <laughs> you're bored, aren't you, Leroy? <laughs> all right, he says that his most annoying habit is that he, he plays the stereo too loud while you're watching television. That's true. 
Can I hit him now? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki. Okay, I would say... His most annoying personal habit. Personally, I think that when he blows his nose at the table, the dinner table. Oh, no. I think it is very rude, and I think he should get up and go to the Well, I think he should get up and leave the house. (laughs) (laughs) What is that thing on your lip? Spit catcher. Oh, a spit catcher. (laughs) God, why do I ask this person? That's another annoying Yeah, he said, uh, no, it's the way he hangs stuff all over the house. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Heidi, what do you think? He burps. He, he burps all the time, no well, you matter know what? what he drinks. After Frank's answer, that's acceptable. We'll, <laughs> we'll take a burp. He says his most annoying habit, after the shower, he naked dances. <laughs> you call me a pervert. <laughs> I'm all... I like that. She I calls know, you what? Good... She calls you a pervert. Because I start, you know, that's like, not I, get my towel, habit. I get the towel in between my legs and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just do it. <laughs> Drunk. I guess I'm That's the annoying. only perfect one. You're not even included anymore. We'll be back with the wives and see how well they can predict what their husband will say right after these messages. the newlywed game it's maternity day on our show the ladies are all expecting so we have to hurry right through this show now ladies your husbands are all secluded off stage it's your turn to predict what they will say and remember each of these questions will now be worth 10 points so here's the first one ladies what will your husband say is more likely to give you a chuckle the thought of him skydiving naked or the thought of him leaf blowing naked which would give you a bigger chuckle here Lise? Uh, leaf blowing naked. He does the thought a lot of, of him leaf blowing naked would do it, huh? Right. He does a lot of yard work. Oh, he does. 
the thought of him naked would make you chuckle right now, wouldn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi. Uh, leaf blowing. The he thought does of him leaf of, blowing naked. Yeah. yeah well, he couldn't skydive. He's scared of heights. So, <laughs> leaf blowing. Well, we're just pretending. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> Nikki. I would say leaf blowing also. Really? The just thought of I him like leaf blowing. I like to see him out there sweating and leaf blowing. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I would have to say leaf blowing because he does a lot of lawn work, and I would love to see things just blowing around. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next question, ladies. If your baby, if your baby grew up and became a cross-dressing rock star, <laughs> will your husband say the genes come from your side of the family or his side of the family? Now, Heidi, your baby's going to grow up and become a cross-dressing rock star. My side of the family. The genes will come from your side of the family. I have some cousins that I won't name, but they dress. <laughs> really? <laughs> they dress like... Pilgrims. Is there? Nikki. That would be an easy one. That would be my side of the I family. I always figured it would be your side of the family. <laughs> yeah. What color is your hair? Flamingo pink. Flamingo. Well, I hope the baby doesn't have hair that color. Oh, I think it'd be great. Oh, you think it'd be great? Yes. Okay, doke. Please. Um, he would say my side. From of your family. side of the family. You got the weirdos in your side. The weirdos. Okay. Yeah. Lisa. His side of the family. Pardon me? It, his, his side of the family. His side of the family. Next question, ladies. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. The last time I tried on a bathing suit, my husband said I looked like a blank. Nikki? I would say he said I'd look like a sexy mama. Like a sexy mama. All right. Please. My husband said that I look like a top model. A top model? Lisa! My husband would probably say I look like a round ball. A round ball? <laughs> yeah. Heidi? He said I look cute, even though I was crying. Look like a... <laughs> look, look like a... How, you, how do you want to say it? Look like a... Model. A cute model. All right, fine. <laughs> For 25 points, ladies, on an average, how many times a day will your husband say he kisses you? On an average, how many times, Felice? I would have to say twice. Twice. Lisa? Five times. Five. Heidi? Five. Five. Nikki? I would say four. Four. Ladies, thank you very much. Now we'll be back with the husband. To prepare as you all the day. I'd have to leave messages. Hey, you're watching the Newlywed Game with me, Bob Eubanks. Stay tuned.
back to the newlywed game. All of our couples have scored points except Leroy down there. Leroy, what's the problem, big guy? Hey, lots of time to, to catch up, though, because, gentlemen, we're going to see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. And in case you just now tuned in, I want to let you know all the ladies are expecting. So we have a lot of people on our show today. So if you're ready, gentlemen, what would you say is more likely to give your wife a chuckle? Would it be the thought of you skydiving naked or the thought of you leaf blowing naked? Which one would give her the biggest chuckle, William? I'm going to have to say leaf blowing naked, Bob. Leaf blowing naked, Bob. Leaf blowing naked. I mean, <laughs> leaf, leaf blowing naked. I've never been called that before. Sorry. There you leaf go. Blowing leaf blowing naked. blowing naked, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> leaf blowing naked. Like, that would be it. <laughs> what do you mean to say now? Leaf blowing naked. Yeah. Say it three times real fast. Leaf blowing naked, leaf blowing naked, leaf blowing naked. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think you could do it. Heidi predicted you would say leaf blowing naked. Yeah. yeah. I'm a freak. <laughs> Frank, considering what your worst personal habit is, I'm dreading all of these. <laughs> I'd say uh, leaf blowing naked, since I'm always doing yard work. She's always laughing at me. Leaf blowing Same. naked. All right, Lisa predicted you would say it would be leaf blowing naked. Yeah. <laughs> well, Leroy, what do you think about this now? The thought, what, which one would give her the biggest chuckle? Would it be the thought of you skydiving naked or leaf blowing naked? I would have to say leaf blowing naked. Really? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried it? No, I haven't tried, but I was... Would you try it? I would. I would. <laughs> <laughs> she said the thought of you leaf blowing naked. Yes, okay. <laughs> Boy, it just makes me chuckle thinking about it. <laughs> yes, what do you think about this, Eric? I think uh, leaf blowing naked definitely just power tools and sweating and just dangling in the wind. <laughs> You're a real strange fellow, Eric. <laughs> Nikki predicted you would say it would be leaf blowing naked. You got it. Okay. Next question, guys. Gentlemen, if your baby grew up and became a cross dressing rock star, would you say the genes came from your side of the family or from your wife's side of the family? Frank, what do you think about this one? Uh, definitely her side of the family. How just, come? Uh, just because they're a little. A little shaky at times. You, no. <laughs> you mean they're a little well, more shaky little shaky than you too, are? But, uh... Oh, God. All right, she said that Gene would come, no, from your side of the family, Frank. There's a lot yeah. more wackos in your side than my, my side. side. Of the family. You're the guy who walks around with a leaf blower with nothing on. <laughs> yeah. Leroy, which side of the family? Well, I would just say my side of the family. Side okay, the family. she predicted the genes would come from her side of the family, Leroy. Why you, say, why you say that? Because I have more crazy people on my side of the family than you do. <laughs> That's what do you true. think, Eric? That's true. Um, I yeah. have to say her side of the yeah, family. Yeah, I was going to answer it for you. <laughs> All right, she predicted it would be her side of the family. Yeah. <laughs> well, William, what do you think about this? I'm going to say her side of the family. Her side of the family. She predicted you would say come from her side yeah. of the family. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the last of our 10-point questions. Gentlemen, how would your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. The last time I tried on a bathing suit, my husband said I looked like a blank. Leroy! Power Ranger? Oh. Like a Power Ranger. <laughs> He's been watching a lot of television. Yeah. Yeah. Felice said you said she looked like a top model. Oh. Boy, that's so close. <laughs> Judges, what do you say? Uh, I was only kidding, Judge. All right, what do you think about this, Eric? Last time she bought on a bathing suit, you said she looked like a... I'd have to say a, a dolphin. Just, kind of <laughs> <laughs> Just the way she moves in the water. There's, There's nothing about her that looks like <laughs> Flipper. What the heck are you talking about? Nikki said, you said she looked like a sexy mama. <laughs> well, William, what do you think about this? Smurf. Smurf? Smurf. <laughs> a cute. A cute smurf, yes, of course. She's, she said that you said she looked like a cute model. I always call you smurf. You were in blue. You're small. <laughs> she was small and blue. I said smurf. Small and blue, of course. I always call you smurf. Lisa. Uh, excuse me, Frank. Uh, like a stripper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like a stripper? No, she said she put on a bathing suit. You said she looked like a round ball. He's always telling me. All right, before we get to our 25 point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Take a look.
You're going to the Bahamas. Bahamas Princess Resort and Casino on exciting Grand Bahama Island. Offering golf, tennis, swimming, a dazzling casino, and international entertainment. From Bahamas Princess Resort and Casino, have a wonderful second honeymoon. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Kramer, very much. All right. Hey, this is going to be fun because all of our couples are expecting we're going to send you on a fabulous second honeymoon. Here's our 25-point bonus question. Gentlemen, on an average, how many times a day would you say you kiss your wife? Let's go first to couple number three. Leroy and Felice, you have 10, 25, I'll give you 35. Get it right, you're in first place. Leroy? I would say maybe four times. Four times. She said on an average you kiss her two times a day. Couple number three, Frank and Lisa with 20, 25, I'll give you 45. Get it right, you're in first place. Frank, what do you say? Five times. Five times. She said uh, five times. <laughs> yeah. Couple number two, William and Heidi with 25. 25 gives you 50. Get it right, and you're going to be in first place. What do you think, William? Five times. Bob. Five times. Five times will work. Okay. All right, couple number one, Eric and Nikki with 30. 25 to give you 55. Get it right, you're going on a fabulous second honeymoon. What's your answer, Eric? Five times. Five times. He said four times. Couple number two, William and Heidi. Yeah, I knew they were game. Grand prize winner. Well, best of luck to all four of our couples and your expected baby. Congratulations to you. Thanks to all of you at home. I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. four delightful couples who I assume are ready to play the game, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah! And ladies, we want you to go off to our soundproof room. Would you do that for me first? Gentlemen, in round one, we'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. You got that? If her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. Remember, each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that fabulous second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone. Here's your first question for five points. Gentlemen, if your wife had been born a man... Which nickname will she say would best describe her personality? Tiger, Pee Wee, or Bubba? <laughs> Joy describing her personality. Would she be Tiger, Pee Wee, or Bubba? Tiger. 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 Okay. Yeah. Carl? Tiger. You sure? Oh, yeah, she's a tiger. Is she really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Tiger. No doubt. <clears throat> Why are you wiggling like that? Uh, because I'm going to get it when I get home. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't brag on this show, okay? Okay. <laughs> Noble. Tiger. Definitely tiger. Tiger, definitely. Okay. Uh, David? Oh, she's a feisty tiger, all right. Not one peewee in the whole bunch. <laughs> Darn. Next question, gentlemen. What will your wife admit is the most unexpected thing she ever did in a mad burst of passion? Be specific. Yeah, the most unexpected thing she ever did, Carl, in a mad burst of passion. Mm. What did she do? I would say pull me down for some extracurricular activities when I wasn't quite ready. <laughs> Noble. Almost the same thing. Uh, a moment of passion. Wait a minute. Your wife pulled him down? <laughs> well, she was. <laughs> no. Moment of passion. She grabbed me when I wasn't expecting it. I see. Okay. David? Um, probably uh, made me take an early lunch break. We took an early lunch break. To, uh, I want to. I want to say thank you, David. I've well, asked two uh, questions. I only had two answers till I got to you. Okay. <laughs> Joey, 
probably uh, have me pull over on the way to Vegas. You pulled over on the way to Vegas? Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> and that was good. <laughs> that was good. Way to go, Joey. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you? Of course I did. Oh, I just <laughs> okay. Next question, gentlemen. How will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. If my wife and I had to trade one facial feature with each other, I think she would look better with my blank, and I would look better with her what? <laughs> talking about facial features here, Noble. Uh, I'd she, have she would look better with your? My chin. Chin, and you would look better with her? Her nose. Nose, we'll all right. See. David, she would look better with your? My eyes. Eyes. And you would look better with her? Mm, her ears? Her ears. <laughs> <laughs> she has smaller ears. I thought you going to say chin, because has... hers doesn't have any hair on it like yours does. <laughs> Joey, she would look better with your? My eyebrows. Eyebrows, and you would look better with her? Her nose. Her nose. Yeah. Carl, she would look better with your? My eyes. I thought sure he was going to say head, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> And Not you would hair. look better with her uh, nose. Nose. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll be right back to reunite the new to us. We'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. language tomorrow starting at nine that's the way you play the game it's all about the motion baby your predictions on cards and now have them in front of you. Remember, each time your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins that great second honeymoon. Ladies, nice to have you back. Here's your first question. Ladies, if you had been born a man, which nickname would you say would best describe your personality? Would it be Bubba, Pee Wee, or Tiger? <laughs> best describing your personality, Tina? Tiger. Tiger. Absolutely. Are you a tiger? Absolutely. You are a tiger? Yeah. Ooh, I've never seen a tiger. Don't wink at me. Wink at him. <laughs> David said, you are a tiger. Yeah. 
<laughs> Jennifer. Tiger. Tiger. I'm a tiger. Yes. You're not a Bubba or a Pee Wee. No way. I'm a tiger. Huh. I'm, I'm a tiger. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's your answer? Tiger. Oh, Noble we'll predicted you would say tiger. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Deborah. Now your husband. Your husband. I asked his, your husband this question. I said, "Look, if she'd been born a man, which nickname would best describe her personality? Bubba, Pee Wee, or Tiger?" Oh, or Tiger. Definitely a Tiger. Is he a Tiger also? Ooh, sometimes he can be. Yeah. Yeah, just sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you're a Tiger all the time. All the time. All the time a Tiger. Okay. <laughs> Carl predicted you would say you're a Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Veronica? <clears throat> I think tiger, definitely. Really? Yes. I am very hard to handle oh. a lot of times. Oh. <laughs> I can admit it. Yeah. You're hard to handle? Yeah. How do you, what do you mean you're hard to handle? Well, I'm very aggressive, let's oh, just I say. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at jo Joey sitting over here. Yeah. 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 Joey said you girl. definitely are a tiger. Yeah. 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 Next question, ladies, to all of our four tigers. <laughs> what would you admit is the most unexpected thing you've ever done in a mad burst of passion? Jennifer, the most unexpected thing you've ever done in a mad burst of passion? A strip tease. <laughs> no Where were you? In the kitchen. <laughs> in the kitchen? Yes. You did a strip in the kitchen? Yes, I did. Why? <laughs> Because I wanted to uh, turn Noble on, and my roommate was sitting in the living room with his back to me, so I stood in the kitchen and stripped while Noble makes to me. Noble said you did, but no, you grabbed him when he wasn't expecting it. Oh, now I, uh, you're right. I yeah. did. Yeah. I did. Deborah, what did you do? Most unexpected thing you've ever done in a mad burst of passion. I'd say he came home in the middle of the day and said, honey, come on, let's get in bed now. It's time. We gotta hurry. <laughs> I gotta get back to work. When was this? Oh, just the other day he had to he was mopping the floor, he had to drop the mop. And I said, let's go. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. He was mopping the floor. Yes, he was mopping the floor. <laughs> he was mopping the floor. <laughs> and and you came home when? In the middle of the day. Really? And you said now? Yep, I said now. Made him put his mop down? You better believe it. <laughs> I put it down. <laughs> Made him take his apron off? No. Oh. We took it off. <laughs> he said it was, uh, yeah, you pulled him down, an extra curve, you pulled him down. What do you think, Judge? Is that going to work for you? Let's see what the judge says. <laughs> yeah, it works for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Veronica. Grabbed him while somebody else was in our bed too. Like they were. No, not no, <laughs> that's right. That's right. I had somebody staying with me, and she was already asleep. And wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. whoa! Oh, don't start rubbing your hands together. Yeah. Your testosterone is starting to eke out your ears. Oh now let me get this right. You have a, a guest over. Yeah. Guest sleeps in the same bed with you and Joey. Well, no, we weren't married at the time. We were just oh. dating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we were just dating, and he had come to visit, and, and it just, he visited. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Joey said that, in, you know what's sad about this? You've told this whole story and got the question wrong. <laughs> he said, no, you made him pull over on the way to Vegas. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, five years ago. Six years ago. Are you sure? I'm gonna her? get hit yeah, for this I one. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, you, you sure it was her? Yes. I'm sure. <laughs> Come on, Joey. I don't think so. Can you so. get to the next question? No. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, Veronica. Nice. It wasn't you? No. no. I don't ever remember that. Ooh, <laughs> I don't remember oh, that. Oh, man. Not at all. <laughs> you let your you-know-what overload your you-know-what, pal. <laughs> all right, Tina, what do you think? Oh, I 
I probably laughed at him, started giggling. You laughed at him, yeah. all right. He said what you did is that uh, card for me, please. You made him take an early lunch break. Oh, well, that's every day. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Next question, ladies. How would your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. He said, if my wife and I had to trade one facial feature with each other, I think she would look better with my blank, and I would look better with her what? Okay? Uh, Deborah, you're going to look better with his, this is eyes. facial, eyes, and he would look better with your? Nose. Nose. All right. He said that uh, uh, eyes and nose. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Veronica, you would look better with his. Oh, God. With, <laughs> with his. You would look better with his. <laughs> Um, I know it's tough to choose. It here, is. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, Free, please. With his lips. Lips. And he would look better with your? My nose. Nose, all right. He said that you would look better with his eyebrows, and he would look better with your nose. Your eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I'm in trouble now. I wonder who it was that went to Vegas with him. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to find out. Tina, find out. Uh, you would look better with his? His eyes. And he would look better with your? Nose. Nose, all right. He said, uh, eyes and ears. I didn't know what to say. Uh, Jennifer, you would look better with his? Mouth. Mouth. He would look better with your? Nose. Nose. All right. He said it would be chin and nose. Oh, close, but no bananas. All right. Hey, we'll be right back with the wives to see how well they predict what their husbands will say right after these messages.
everybody. Now, ladies, your husbands have been secluded off stage. It's your turn to predict what they will say. And remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. And here's our first one. Ladies, when it comes to the art of making love, will your husband say that he's taught you a thing or two or you've taught him a thing or two? Deborah? <laughs> oh, I say I think I've taught him. You've taught him a thing or two? Yeah, I think so. Way to go, kiddo. <laughs> All even right. though he is older, but you know. Pardon me? I say even though he is older than me. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Us older guys, we can learn, you know. That's true, that's true. They can learn a lot. <laughs> Jennifer. I think he's taught me a thing or he's two. He's taught you a thing or two. Yes. Tina? I definitely taught him. Oh, he didn't know a thing, did he? No. <laughs> no. He didn't he know a thing. He thought he did, though. Pardon me? He thought he thought did. Thought he did, oh, but yeah. he met the tiger and look what happened. You that's taught right. him. Yeah. That's right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about this, Veronica? I definitely taught him. You taught him. He was the wham bam, thank you, ma'am kind of thing. <laughs> he was. He was. Oh he, yeah. Not now, anymore. No, definitely no. not. No. Good now. Huh. Yeah. Next question, ladies, when it comes to hormones, will your husband say you could use a shot of estrogen or he could use a shot of testosterone? <laughs> Jennifer? I could use a shot of estrogen. You could use a shot of estrogen. Absolutely. Tina. Yes. Estrogen, yeah. He could use estrogen? <laughs> I could use estrogen. Oh, you could. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe. Well, Veronica. Uh, I could use estrogen. He calls me butch all the time. Because <laughs> I'm very aggressive, and I'm always do this, do that. And okay. So you could estrogen. It. Deborah? Yeah. I think he could use his testosterone. He could use some testosterone. Yeah. All right. Our 25-point bonus question. Ladies, what will your husband say was the last piece of furniture you two shopped for together? Veronica. Uh, our bedroom, our, our bed set. The bed set. Yeah. Deborah? Our recliner chairs. Recliner chair. Jennifer? Um, oh. Ooh, our place. sectional. Your sectional. All right. And Tina? Office desk. Pardon me? Office desk. Office desk. Ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husband. Sitting pair answers on the middle of the game. Right after this. <laughs> What are they talking about? Liza Minnelli for hot dogs. They're talking about, talk about. Prince Charles is right. Yeah! Weekdays at 8.30, right here on Buzzer.
Welcome back to the newlywed game. Okay, three of our couples have five points. Couple number three has 15 points, but there's lots of time to catch up. Gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these questions are now worth 10 points. So here's our first one. Gentlemen, when it comes to the art of making love, would you say that your wife's taught you a thing or two, or you've taught her a thing or two? Noble, what do you think? I think I've taught her a thing. You've or taught two. her a thing or two. Good for you, big guy. <laughs> she said definitely. Yes, you've taught her a thing or two. Oh, right. <laughs> Way to go, Noble. That's it. <laughs> Where it's supposed to be, yeah. <laughs> Carl, what do you think? Well, I'm going to go out on a limb here, Bob, and say I've taught her a thing. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Because you are the man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In this household, you're the man. Yes, sir. She said for sure. Yes, for sure. Card, please. Yes. She's taught you everything you know, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> she, said, she said you're older, but she taught you everything. <laughs> You were, a, you were a babe in the woods. I don't woods. think so, Bob. <laughs> oh, Joey. Shoot, we don't know, know the answer already here. Yeah, Joey, what do you think? I'm a professor. I teach everything. You teach everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Joey, you, you've done it again. You've done it again. You made a total fool of yourself, Joey. <laughs> Veronica said wait. for sure she's taught you practically oh. everything. Oh. <laughs> She said, you didn't know much. Not a thing. Oh. Nothing. Nothing. Wait till the guys, wait till the guys find out you know nothing before you know. <laughs> the only thing you knew is how to get to Las Vegas with someone else. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> and she obviously didn't teach you much either. <laughs> what do you think here, David? Oh, you know, it's because she's the tiger that she is, she probably, she taught me. She taught you. Yeah. She said that, uh, yeah, she taught you, yeah. yes. Okay. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. When it comes to hormones, would you say your wife could use a shot of estrogen or that you could use a shot of testosterone? Carl? Uh, I think she's going to say I need a shot of testosterone. You need a little shot of testosterone, all right? She predicted that uh, card. Yeah, you can use a testosterone. All right. Hey, Joey, what do you think? Oh, she needs a shot. She, she needs a shot, yeah. not you. Not me. Not you. I'm ready. Man, pardon me? I'm always ready. Really? I'm always ready. All right. She yeah. said that, uh, yeah, she could use the shot. You got it. Okay. David, what do you think? Uh, probably I could use the shot. You could use a shot of testosterone. Sure. She said sure. for sure that uh, she could use the shot of estrogen. You don't yeah. need any more testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, already got hair growing on his chin, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. Noble, with a name like that. I think she could use a little estrogen. You think she could? All right. She predicted you would say that she could use the old estrogen. You got it. All right. <laughs> Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer! You're going to Jamaica! You'll stay at the Wyndham Rose Hall Golf and Beach Resort just outside of Montego Bay. Rose Hall offers championship golf, tennis, water sports, and a private white sand beach. Wyndham Rose Hall, the jewel of Jamaica. Perfect place for newlyweds. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Kramer Mon. Okay, somebody's going to Jamaica. Unless couple number four wins, we're going to send them to Vegas because Joey knows how to get there. <laughs> Here's our 25-point bonus question. Gentlemen, what's the last piece of furniture you two shopped for together? Last piece of furniture you two shopped for together. Couple number one, David and Tina with 15. 25 would give you 40. Get it right, and you'll be in first place. David? A bed. A bed. She predicted you would say an office desk. Oh, Couple number four, Joey and Veronica. You have 15, 25 gives you 40. Hey, Joey. Thanks for letting me kid you for this show. I appreciate it. If you get it right, you're going to be in first place. A table. A table. She said the two of you shopped for, must have been with someone else. I, yeah. A bed set. A table. We don't even have a you table. You guys live together? <laughs> Couple number two, nah. Noble and Jennifer with 25. 25 gives you 50. Noble, take over the lead with the correct answer. I say a lamp. A lamp. She said you shopped for a sectional. Couple number three, Carl and Deborah. You have 25. 25 to give you 50. Get it right, and you're going to Jamaica. Yes. Bed. Bed. She said. Okay, card, please. 
A recliner chair. Oh. Okay, that means we've got a tie. Now, before the show, each couple predicted what their final score would be. Listen carefully now. The couple that comes closest to their final score will win. However, if both predictions are equally distant from the actual score, then the one that did not go over the final score wins. <laughs> couple number two. Noble, you've got 25 points. You predicted how many? You predicted 42, okay? And couple number uh, three, you have 25 points. You predicted how many? You predicted 40. So couple number three, Carl and Deborah. <laughs> yeah, I did it again. Grand prize winner. <laughs> Congratulations, dear. Thanks to all of our couples, and thanks to you. I'm Bob Eubanks. Hey, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. It's the Newlywed Game! And here are today's newlyweds. This couple got happily hitched 22 months ago, Donna and Barry Johnson. Our next couple recited their vows 23 months ago, Melissa and Michael Pritchard. This couple created rings 10 months ago, Lisa and Rick Demusey. And our final couple celebrated their union two months ago, Karis and David Strauss. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hi, welcome to the newlywed game. Glad you could join us today. We have four delightful couples who I assume you're ready to play the game. You are? Yeah. That's yeah. right. In order to do that, we must send the ladies off, if we can, to our soundproof booth. Ladies, if you would, please. Now remember, gentlemen, round one, we'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show is going to win a fabulous second honeymoon. So, gentlemen, if you're ready, here's our first question. The ladies are gone, and it goes like this. Gentlemen, will your wife say that she has the greatest power over you when she's screaming, staring, or smiling? David, when does she have the greatest power over you? When she's screaming, staring, or smiling? Absolutely screaming. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, you don't want to be there. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Michael, she have power over you when she's screaming, staring, or smiling, Michael? I'd say screaming. Screaming? Yes, every day, all day. You too, huh? <laughs> really? <laughs> You, too, used to have a full head of hair, didn't you? Yes, I'm yes. definitely going bald. Yes, I can tell. What do you think about this, Barry? Definitely when she's screaming. You she just, screams. Oh, yes. You just definitely just have to sit back, shut your mouth up, and let her Are you telling it. me that <laughs> you telling me you married a screamer? Yes, I definitely married a screamer. <laughs> Boy, a lot of guys would say you're a lucky guy. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, Rick. Uh, I would say that... Uh, when she's... Screaming, staring, or smiling? Screaming and staring simultaneously. Yeah, but just give me one. Okay, uh, with that, I'd say screaming gets my attention. Screaming. All right, next question. Gentlemen, if you had to pay your wife a salary for all the work she does around the house, how much will she say you would pay her each week for all the work she does around the house? Michael, how much would you A million dollars, her? Bob. You'd pay her a million dollars? She does a lot of work. That was a okay. Idea. What do you think about this, Barry? I have to say, million dollars plus. She, everything. Oh, you guys make me <laughs> sick. Million dollars. Yeah, right. Rick. Uh, 49 plus tax. What, what county do you live in? Uh, I currently live in Orange, but that may change after today. That's 8.75, so $49. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Figure it out. 8.75 on 49, I'd say... <laughs> 54, 55 bucks. Well, which one? 54, 55. 55. Thank you very much. You're the toughest contestant I've had all day. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. David. I would say, uh, Bob, I'd say $400 a week. $400 a week. I need to get jobs like these guys to pay Yeah, I know. I hear you. Okay. Next question, guys. How long will your wife say it's been since she was last upside down? <laughs> I just ask them, folks. That's all I do. What do you think, Barry? 
I would say a month. Been a month, okay. Rick? Uh, it was exactly three days. Thank you for not complicating that one. <laughs> Thank you. David. What's today? Tuesday? Pardon me? Four days ago. I don't know what today is. Four days ago. Four, four days. Michael? Two days ago, Bob. Two days, Bob. Thank you very much, Bob. We'll be right back to reunite the newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. a good orchestra. Good band. Oh, welcome back, by the way. Gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. Isn't that amazing? And the, it's the one couple at the end of the show that has the most points. They win a fabulous second honeymoon. That's even more amazing. I mean, you used to, used to bury your soul for a toaster. Now we... <laughs> <laughs> Try this question out. Ladies, would you say you have the greatest power over your husband when you're staring, smiling, or screaming? When you have the greatest power over this guy, Lisa? Screaming. Screaming. You have power over him when you scream. Screaming. Really? What's he, your answer? Screaming. I knew that. He said screaming, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. He, he didn't shave today, did he? I like like that. Though. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How silly of me. Donna, you have the, the most power over him when you're staring, smiling, or screaming. Probably smiling. When you're smiling at it. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Way that to go. That be dangerous. Yeah, dangerous, yeah. <laughs> he says you have all the power over him when you're screaming at him. When you're screaming. He said you, you scream a lot. When you scream. Oh, when you scream a lot, everybody just sits back and, and lets you go at it. No yeah. one says a word. And what do you do? You ignore me. I, so I, I sit there and do the man thing. I sit there and ignore you. I what's right? What's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, listen. Screaming. screaming. That's the only time he listens. He to predicted me. screaming. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Karis. Definitely screaming. Definitely I'm a screaming? Screamer. Yeah. I come from yellers. All right. He says <laughs> that you have the most power over him when you are screaming. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Next question, ladies. If your husband had to pay you a salary for all the work you do around the house, how much would he pay you each week? How much would he pay you, Donna, for all the work you do around the house each week? Oh, my husband's cheap. I will go with $100. $100 a week. <laughs> I don't know. Your husband's spending somebody else's money. That's all I can tell you. Barry said that he would pay you $1 million a week. Oh, that's right. That's right. You, you, you deserve it. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. You deserve it. Barry, she is the boss. There's yep. no doubt. Melissa? 
500. 500. He said he would pay you $1 million a week. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Oh. Yeah. That is so nice. Karis, what do you think? He's definitely not going to go with a million, so I'll say 400. 400. He said he would pay you probably, top card, about $400 a week. Okay. Lisa, how much would he pay you? I say. I say one dollar. One dollar. <laughs> one dollar. No, 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 no. Rick is a little more generous than that. Quite a bit more generous. Yeah, than that. No, no, no. <laughs> not quite a bit, Rick. What'd you say? Yeah, fifty-five dollars a week. <laughs> We're not supposed to kiss now. I take it. You can kiss her anytime you want to. I think, no, you I can't. think I better. I think I better. <laughs> I wish you'd shave, though. <laughs> Next qu question, ladies. How long would you say it's been since you were last upside down? <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, what do you think? Uh, I would have to say about two months. Two months, all right. Your husband predicted two days. Two days. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. It's okay. Two days. He he has someone else living with him. <laughs> Karis. I'll go with last night. David said I it's been uh, four days. Oh. Boy, he obviously Where remembered. Where were you? <laughs> I guess I wasn't there last night. <laughs> Lisa. I say two days. Two days. Your husband said three days. Oh, gosh, no. <sighs> I know. I mean... <laughs> What do you mean, you know? Wasn't he there? <laughs> Donna. Um, probably, like, a year ago. Ooh. You guys are in a different direction, okay? Oh, no. Hey, listen, a year ago. I'm not in any direction. If the last time you were upside down was a year ago, it's just fine with me. Not so good with Barry, however. He predicted you would say it was one month ago. A year ago? Where did you get a Where month ago? A year ago. Where did you get a month ago? A month a month ago is the last time that we had good. We'll be back. <laughs> with the wine. To see how well they predict what the husband will say right after these messages.
you change your passwords often, so we are too. Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> Password Plus, now followed by Super Password. Welcome to whatever this is. Because it's always good to change your passwords once in a while. You understand what I'm saying. Password Plus and Super Password. Tonight, starting at 1 on Buzzer. Let's play. <laughs> Welcome back to the Newlywed Game. Ladies, your husbands have now been secluded off stage where they belong, by the way. And it's your turn to predict what they will say. Remember, these questions are worth 10 points, so good luck to you. Ladies, thinking back to your wedding reception, who is the, the one person your husband will say that you should not have invited? <laughs> Give me a first name only, please. Melissa? The Justice of the Peace. <laughs> well, do you remember his first name or just want to say Justice of the Peace? The Justice. That's the only other person that was there. Yeah. Donna? Um, First name only, please. Probably Jean. Jean. Guy Jean or girl Jean? Girl Jean. Girl Jean. Okay. Lisa? Billy. Billy. Karis? Darren. And I'm safe because there was a few there. So I'm going to say Darren? Darren. Darren. All right. Fine. Ladies, next <laughs> question. The last time you and your husband made love, who will he say put on a better show? You or him? <laughs> Donna? I know Donna's got to go back a long time to think about this. Though. Who put on a better show, Donna, you or him? I did. You did. All right. <laughs> Lisa. He did. He put on he a better show. He put on a better show. Oh, I'll be darned. Okay. But I earned it. Pardon me? <laughs> I earned it. Hey, $55 a week. <laughs> Harris. I did. You put on a better I show. I did. I think he'll agree. I did. You little devil, you. <laughs> That's me. Melissa. I did. Way to go, Melissa. I'm better. Huh? I'm better. You're better than he is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next question, ladies. And uh, uh, Mauricio, would you come out here and join us, please? How you doing, Mauricio? <laughs> now, ladies, this is Mauricio. Ladies, if you could have two husbands, and one of them was Mauricio, okay? <laughs> What manly job would your husband say you would want him to do, and what manly job would you give to Mauricio? <laughs> Lisa, you can have two husbands. I which, knew you were going to go to me first. Yeah, which manly job would you give to, uh, to Rick? Uh, I, with him? No, Rick. Remember, you remember Rick is your husband. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try to keep um, you reminding us. Rick is the guy who didn't shave today. Uh, yeah, he's your husband. Rick would keep his normal job. What is what? Which, which, is, which manly job would you give to Rick? Uh, sweeping the garage. Okay, uh, sweeping the garage. And what manly job would you give to Mauricio? Helping me do anything in the house. <laughs> Helping you do anything. Fine, okay. Uh, Karis, what manly job would you give to David? David would still take care of all the bedroom duties. Bedroom? And yeah. Mauricio? He can do all the household work. Household work. Hey, sorry. You did well with sorry. flight number one. <laughs> Melissa, what, what manly job would you give to Michael? Fixing things around the house. He'd fix things. How about Mauricio? What'd you do? Fixing things on me. Fixing on me. Okay. She puts on a good show, by the way, too. Yeah. Donna, what job are you going to give to Barry? Um, all of the household stuff, but especially me. Household stuff, okay. And what job did you get to Mauricio? All of the yard work. Yard work. <laughs> all right, Mauricio, thank you very much for being with us. All right. Ladies, here's our 25-point bonus question. Ladies, what will your husband say is the last event you two bought tickets for? And be specific. Last event, Karis, you bought tickets for? Ooh. 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 Oh, um, a trip. A trip. A trip to Santa Fe. A trip to Santa Fe. All right. Yes. What, what, how'd you go? I mean, was that airplane? Airplane. Airplane. All right. Melissa. Yes. The Marine Corps ball. The Marine Corps ball. All right. Donna. A trip together, you mean? Well, I imagine, yeah. <laughs> the two of you bought tickets. I'm not sure after the show you'll be going together. But... <laughs> to the movies. To the movies. Lisa. Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson. All yep. right, ladies, thank you very much. We'll be back with the husbands to compare after the following movie right game. Right after these messages. Play truth for the real Leonard Wolf. Please stand up. And consequences. <laughs> to tell the truth and the newlywed game. Continues next.
the newlywed game. Three of our couples have points, and Barry's over there struggling. But don't worry, Barry. You'll have lots of time. We're going to see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. Here's our first one. Gentlemen, thinking back to your wedding reception, who's the person you would say your wife should not have invited? Give me a first name only, please. Let's start with you, Barry, because darn, you need some points here. Oh, that definitely Jim. What's the matter with old Jim? You don't like him? <laughs> We're in, the, we're in the hotel room. Yeah. And we get a knock on the door at 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh. <laughs> he was looking for his Viagra, wasn't oh, he? he? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe he's looking for your Viagra. <laughs> Donna said you should not have. No, Gene, Gene, Gene. Not Jim, Jim, Jim. Okay, 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 okay. Don't, I don't yell Gene. at her. Yeah. You know what? He's right. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> I can tell. Michael, first name only, please. Well, it has to be the justice of the peace. Justice of peace. She said it has to be the justice of the peace. That's right. You got it. <laughs> David. Andrea? Andrea. No, she said you should not have invited Darren. Darren. Oh. Rick. <clears throat> Billy. Billy. Yeah. Who's Billy? Uh, Billy is a, is a uh, good friend. Used to be. Used to be. Yeah, it's a, it's a changing relationship. Yeah. Lisa predicted you say should not have invited. Billy, you got it. Okay. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. Gentlemen, the last time you and your wife made love, who would you say put on a better show? You or her? Uh, Michael, what do you think? Me, Bob. You did it, huh? Yeah, Way to I'm go, Michael. The You're the showman, right? Yeah, all right. She said for sure she did. Right. She I put did. on the better show. Uh, David. Definitely her. Definitely her. Definitely she her. said definitely it was her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rick. Hey, I got I to be very diplomatic about sure. this. Sure. Well, who put uh, on the better show? It was me. Got it to. was me. <laughs> All right. Was she me. predicted you would say that. Yeah, uh, yeah you did. Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. All right. All right, Barry. Here's your chance if you get this one right to zoom into last place. <laughs> <laughs> What's your answer, Bear? I would have to say she did. She did. Time. She said she did. Yeah. Okay. Next question, gentlemen. Mauricio, would you uh, come back out and join us again? Where's Mauricio? Let's get Mauricio. Yeah. Now, gentlemen. Gentlemen, if your wife could have two husbands and one of them was Mauricio, what manly job would you say she would want you to do, guys? And what manly job would she give to Mauricio? So, David, what job is your wife going to give to you? Hurry, please. Give him a massage. Pardon me? Massage him. Are, are you going to give her the massage? What right. manly job would she give to Mauricio? Cleaning the house. Cleaning the house, all right. <laughs> she said she would give you the job of bedroom duties, and he would do the housework. Almost. Well, judges, what do you say about that? Massage him. <laughs> what does the judge say? Uh, oh. Okay, that's... Uh, Rick, now, what manly job would she give you? My heart is pumping. Yes, I know, because Mauricio's out here. Well, she's going to give you what job, Rick? She is going to give she me. She couldn't, the... by the way, remember your name while you were gone. <laughs> That's reassuring. Yeah, Thank it you. is. Yeah. I, I would say, Bob, that she would probably give me the uh, the task of feeding the dog. Feeding the dog, and what job would she give Mauricio? Uh, Mauricio would have the uh, um, uh, the nighttime chores. Nighttime chores. Yeah. All right. She said she would give you the job of sweeping the garage. And Mauricio would be helping her inside. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Look yeah. at him. Uh, you want to kiss her now? Uh, I don't Mauricio blame is a very fine-looking person. Yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> Barry, Barry, she gets two husbands. Now, what job would she give you, Barry? She would give me the job of taking care of her. Taking care of her. And how about what job would Mauricio get? He would get the job of taking care of the kids and everything. The kids, all right. <laughs> she said that uh, you'd get the household stuff and he'd do the yard work. <laughs> close enough, but not close, close enough. No. Okay, Michael, what job would your wife give you, pal? Uh, the bedroom duties. Bedroom. And what job would you give Mauricio? Taking out the trash. Taking out the trash. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. Get it out of here. <laughs> As Bobcat would say, I got a big ass surprise for you. <laughs> she would give you the job of fixing things and him the job of fixing things on her. <laughs> Rachel, thank you very much, man. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Okay, before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. You're going to Barbados! <laughs> All the beach resorts in Barbados. Stay at the Intimate Club or the larger village. Enjoy privilege at both locations. Luxury rooms, gourmet dining, water sports, and nightly entertainment. Almond Beach Resorts, Barbados. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Kramer, very much. All right, here is our 25-point bonus question for 25 points. Gentlemen, what will your wife say, or what did your wife say, is the last event you two bought tickets for? Be specific. The last event that you two bought tickets for. Let's go first to couple number two. Couple number two, Barry and Donna, you have 10. 25 would give you 35. If you get it right, you're in first place. Miss it, you go home in last place. Barry? The movies. The movies. She said, the movies. You got it. Okay, couple number three, Michael and Melissa. You guys have 15, 25 to give you 40. Get it right. You're in the lead, Michael. The drive-in movie theater. Drive-in movie theater. She said, no, you bought it to the Marine Corps Ball. Last event. Couple number four, David and Karis, you have 20. 25 gives you 45. Get it right. You're in the lead. The movies. The movies. She said, you bought tickets to a trip to Santa Fe. All right, couple number one. Rick and Lisa, you have 25. 25 will give you 50. Get it right. You and your wife are going on a fabulous vacation. What's your answer? Okay, this is a complicated answer because Just I bought you... tickets for something, and but we both bought tickets for a movie. Movie. She said it was, it was, card please. It was, oh, the Janet, Janet Jackson, Jackson concert. That means it couple number two. Yeah! Yeah! Very enough. Couples, and thanks to you at home. I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. It's the Newlywed Game! And here are today's newlyweds! This couple became husband and wife two months ago, Sherry and Darren Turpin! Our next couple marched down the aisle 15 months ago, Rhonda and Roy Beeler! This couple sliced their wedding cake 16 months ago, Marilyn and Danny Munoz! And our final couple traded vows 15 months ago, Carol and Derek Suzuki. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. <laughs> hey, and hi to our couples. You ready to play? Yeah. Good. Ladies, we're going to ask you to go off to our soundproof room. Will you do that for us, please? Now, gentlemen, in round one, we'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. And remember, each correct prediction brings you that much closer to your second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone. Here's your first question. Gentlemen, if your wife and your very last ex had a gloves-off cat fight, who will your wife say would probably lose the most fur? Your <laughs> wife or your ex? They're going to have this big old... Fight, Derek. Who's going to lose the most fur, Carol or your ex? Uh, I would say my ex, because my wife, she can be just a mad dog. That really? Woman, that, wo <laughs> that woman can beat me silly. <laughs> You're afraid of her then? Uh, yes. When she gets angry, I just try to run away. I don't blame you. <laughs> Roy, who's going to lose the most fur, your wife or your ex? Uh, definitely my ex. Your ex my is going to lose is, most fur. Oh, my wife, she's tough. She hits like a man. She's, she's dirty fighting the Oh, marines. she can knock yeah. me down. Yeah. Darren. Also, I'd have to say my ex. Your ex is going to oh, lose. Oh, yeah. Okay. My wife is much bigger than her, and I don't think she has a chance. Oh, we won't <laughs> sell, tell her you said that. But... I won't say much bigger. Danny? Okay. I would definitely say uh, my wife. Your wife's going to lose the fur. Yeah, big time, because uh, she's like the biggest pussy cat, I tell you. Really? <laughs> and your ex, your ex was? Oh, no, but my ex was, uh, you know, she was a dancer, and, uh, you know, She's stronger and she's okay. definitely Okay, next question, gentlemen. Geographically speaking, what will your wife say is the most dangerous place the two of you have ever made love? The most dangerous place, Roy, geographically speaking. Uh, I'd be have, have to be on the side of the road in the car. Where were you? Up in the mountains. Up in the mountains on the in side the of the road in a car. You're too cheap to get a room, were you? Well, it was a spur of the moment thing. I see, yeah, yeah. okay. Darren? 
It's down in South Central Los Angeles. Whereabouts? Uh, specifically, 55th and Central. Thank you very much. Danny. Uh, it was a really old building. We drove all the way to the top, and it was on top, and it, I think we'd probably say the dangerous spot. Yeah. Just because, you know, it was dark, no lights, you know. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Danger. Derek, what do you say? Oh, uh, it was... I hope this answer is correct. Oh, it was I hope in, so, too. It was in my, in my father's laundry room. <laughs> it, it, it was... It was a spur of the moment thing. In your father's laundry room? In his laundry room, yeah. In his house? In, in his house. We really? Were visiting. Oh. And, <laughs> where, where was your father? Uh, he was upstairs. It was just one of those had to have it type of thing. I got you. Okay. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. You just showed up for your. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's do it. Let, let's call in some help here. Janice, maybe you could come out and help us uh, for this one, would you? Would Janice please come out and help us? <laughs> Gentlemen, say hi to Janice. Hi, hi Janice. Janice. Now, you've just showed up for your annual physical to discover that Janice is the new doctor at your HMO. Oh, my. <laughs> what will your wife say is the first thought that will cross your mind when Dr. Janice asks what she can do for you today? <laughs> What's the first thought that's going to cross your mind? <laughs> Darren? Well... I'm going to say probably um, show me her breasts <laughs> because she knows I'm a breast type guy. And, Darren! Uh, <laughs> Danny, first thought. You know what? I'd have to say those breasts. <laughs> you know? Pervert. <laughs> hey, man. Someone has to do it. Derek, first thought that will cross your mind when Janice says, what can I do for you today? Uh, I... <laughs> Just speak up, Derek. Go ahead. Well, I have to turn and cough. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, that's funny. <laughs> I like that, Roy. Um, how about a complete physical? How about a complete physical? Complete physical. All right, the gentlemen. Thank you very much, Janice. Thank, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back to reunite our newlyweds, and we'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say. What happened?
watch Our Moms with your mom. <laughs> It's my mother. This is my mother you're talking to. TV Moms Week, all week long, starting May 8th on Buzzer. And welcome back to the Newlywed Game. Gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have it in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a fabulous second honeymoon. So nice to have you back with us. Ladies, here's your first question. Hey, tell me, if you and your husband's very last ex-girlfriend had a gloves-off cat fight, who would you say would probably lose the most fur? Marilyn. Probably me. How come? I'm a wussy. I don't. Uh, any little scratch, I'll uh, cry, go to the doctor. Do you get know a his, ex, his ex girlfriend? I guess, whichever yeah. one it is. Oh, who knows? <laughs> he has so many, yeah. Danny said that it would be his wife that would lose the fur. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> now, Sherry, who would lose the most fur, you or her? Probably her. Can you fight? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you whip him? No. No. Okay. Darren said that uh, the ex would lose the fur. You got it. Rhonda. Oh, definitely her. Why? Because I had two older brothers and they taught me well. So you could whip her butt then, right? Yeah, that's right. All right. He predicted you would say it would be the ex. You bet it. You got it. Now, Carol, did you know Derek's ex girlfriend? I knew who she was. I never met her. Big old girl. She was not a big girl, but she was. She was, had those long old nails, the nasty nails. You're kidding the, me. She was like a meow. Meow. <laughs> Who's going to lose the fur, you or her? Me, uh, her. She's going to lose the She's fur. She's going to lose the fur because I'll tell you something. What? I may look small and I may look defenseless, yes. but this is my man and I will defend. <laughs> he predicted you would say, card for me, please. Card. Yeah, yeah it's the X, okay. <laughs> Next question, ladies. Geographically speaking, what would you say is the most dangerous place you and your husband have ever made love? Sherry, <laughs> geographically speaking, the most dangerous place you've ever made love. Where would that be? Probably, well, I, I would have to say South Central. <laughs> he predicted you would say it was uh, yeah, in a motel at 55th and Central. You got it. Okay, you can have it. <laughs> Rhonda, geographically speaking. Um, on the side of the road in Kernville. <laughs> You're kidding me. No. <laughs> what do you mean on the side of the road? Well, it, we were kind of in the car and kind of not. The door was open. I was inside the car. He was outside the car. You were inside the car. He was outside the car. <laughs> Did you have the door shut? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Strange image, huh? <laughs> Roy predicted you would say it was on the side of a mountain road. You yeah. guys. <laughs> All right, Carol, what do you think about this? The most dangerous place. I'm sure Derek's very dangerous. Oh, he is, Bob, he is so not dangerous. He's very extremely modest. He usually will not do it anywhere except for in our room with the windows Probably won't take his clothes off unless the light's off, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, but there was, there was a time. <laughs> Where, where's this? This was at a hotel by Where? our house in, well, it was in Santa Ana, and I was actually literally hanging out of the window of a... You were hanging out of the window? Out of the window. Of were you trying to commit suicide or just... No, I was hanging on for dear life. Hanging on for dear <laughs> life. <laughs> you know what he told us? He said it was in his father's laundry room. Oh. <laughs> Why are you hitting him on that? Wait till the dad finds out you were hanging out the window in a motel. <laughs> Jeez. Marilyn. I would have to guess uh, off of the freeway at Pismo Beach. Off of the freeway? Well, we detoured off and found a little nice little neighborhood, and some man was out doing his flowers, and we have a And we so had a was car Danny, that... right? <laughs> yeah. All right. He was planting flowers pretty good, yeah, let me tell Danny you. Yeah, Danny said that uh, no, you were uh, at the top of a garage. It was a carpool, remember, on top of the building? Do you remember? I mean, what's so dangerous about the Pismo Beach? I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. There's no Pismo lights. Beach. And, geez. It was daylight. Do you remember the garage? At the, yeah, yeah, I remember the, the, the garage. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Wasn't very dangerous, was it? No. Okay. Hey, uh, maybe, uh, ladies, I would like to meet uh, Janice, if you would, please. Janice, would you please come out here? Where's Janice? Oh, yes. Where's Janice? <laughs> now, ladies. Ladies, your, your husband just showed up for his annual physical to discover that Janice is the new doctor at his HMO. 
What would you say is the first thought that will cross his mind when Dr. Janus asks, what can I do for you today? What's the first thing that's going to cross your husband's mind, Rhonda? First oh, thought. Oh, God. First thought. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> that's what he that's said. It. He would say, wouldn't you like to know? First thought across his mind is, uh, how about a complete physical? Oh, you're a... <laughs> what you like to know? Shoot, I'll give you a physical. Like yeah, I'll give you a physical. Try to get a physical last night. <laughs> Pardon me? I'll give him a fi I can't get him to let me give him a physical. I tried to get a physical last night. You, I'm oh. too tired. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to play doctor. <laughs> Carol, first thought that crossed Derek's mind. I bet Derek would be thinking, I hope she tells me to turn my head and cough. <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, will I have to turn my head and cough? Judges, you want to give it to him? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Marilyn, what was the first thought that came across his mind when she said, Danny, what can I do for you today? Are those real or are those fake? <laughs> <laughs> Only no her offense, hairdresser no offense, knows. But we judge a lot of collagen. I see. Danny said the first thought was uh, those breasts. Judge, what do you think? They say okay. <laughs> now, Sherry, what do you think that crossed Darren's mind when she looked him right in the eye and said, Darren, what can I do for you today? He probably said, I'm not really sick, so I'll just sit up on top of the table. What do you want me, on top of the table? You think he'd say that? Yeah. Wow. You know what he said? He said, show me those breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Janice, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, we'll be back now with the wives to see how well they predict what their husbands will say right after these messages.
Welcome back, everybody. Now, ladies, your husbands have been secluded off stage. It's your turn to predict what they will say. And remember, each of these questions will now be worth 10 points. First one, ladies, what phase of lovemaking will your husband say is your least favorite? Is it the warm up, the boiling point, or the cool down? Which is your least favorite, Rhonda? The warm up, the boiling point, or the cool down? The cool down. Cool down. <laughs> Sherry. Cool down. Cool down. Mm -hmm. Marilyn. Same thing. Cool down. Cool down. Carol. It's got to be the cool down because all he does is like roll over and snore and leaves me <laughs> laying there like, hello. He's gone. He's he out. He just rolls over and snores. He's out. This is the man you're fighting for? Two seconds afterward. <laughs> Bam. Next well, question, ladies. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. If I had been able to try my husband out before we got married, I might not have been so surprised when I got him home and discovered his what was broken. Marilyn, his what was broken? His heart? His heart was broken. All right, Carol? His energy. His energy was he broken. He has no energy. Just sits around all day. He, he just... In front of the TV. Oh, I'm so sorry. Rhonda? I would have to say his shoulder. His okay. shoulder was broken. Yeah, because right, he's Sherry? always throwing it out. Probably his hands. His hands were broken. Yes. All right, 25 point bonus question. Ladies, at what exact time of day or night will your husband say you two were pronounced husband and wife? Give me AM or PM. Carol? 2.30 PM. 2.30 PM. Rhonda? 4.30 PM. 4.30 PM. Sherry? 5 o'clock PM. 5 PM. Marilyn? 10.30 AM. 10.30 AM. All right, ladies, we'll be right back with the husbands to compare answers on the new game. Right after these messages. Here's another classic concentration quickie. Where was the kayak? We'll be back with the answer right after this.
the kayak. If you guess number two, you're right. You've won another episode of Classic Concentration, coming up next on Buzzer. Welcome back to the newlywed game. All of our couples have 10 points, and we're going to see if you can get some more now. Gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points, and here's our first one. Hey, gentlemen, what phase of lovemaking is your wife's least favorite? least favorite is it the cool down the warm-up or the boiling point Darren what's your least favorite I'm gonna say the uh, cool down cool down yeah the cool down because um, once she's boiling she doesn't want to cool down she likes to keep on going. I see okay <laughs> Sherry predicted you would say it is uh, the cool down yeah hey Roy your wife's least favorite phase I'd have to say the warm up. The warm up is her yeah, least favorite. I, I usually like to skip that and just get <laughs> just ready, to, you know, get to the hot. Boy, yeah. Uh, you know. You're really a romantic guy, aren't you? <laughs> All right, she said her least favorite is the cool down. Who, oh. who did you ask? They didn't ask what your favorite was, they asked mine. Hey, Mr. Romance. Yes, sir. Derek, what's your wife's least favorite phase? Is it cool down, warm up, or boiling point? Well, Bob, I'd have to say it would be the cool down. Because really? My, yeah, my wife, you know, it, it's like a job. The legs up and pillow. And, you know, and, you know I, I'm tired. I, I'm this ready is, to go to sleep. This is Mr. Conservative, Carol? Can you believe he said that? <laughs> he is, he's just acting right now. Because yeah, he that's is not very really him, is it? No, no, not at all. So he said that your least favorite is a cool down. That's what she said. Cool down. Yeah. <laughs> So embarrassed for him. <laughs> Danny, your wife's least favorite. You know, I would definitely have to say the cool down. Cool down. Only because, you know, she's like that uh, Energizer Bunny, man. She keeps going. The on Energizer and on Bunny, and yeah. On. Okay. Marilyn predicted you would say it's the cool down. You got it. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. How would your wife complete this sentence? Now, this is her talking. She said, uh, if I had been able to try my husband out before we got married, I might not have been so surprised when I got him home and I discovered his what was broken. Doggone it, man. She gets you home, Derek, and your what's broken. Uh, I would say the tool. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, the, the, it's like... The, okay, okay, the, okay, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> She said your, uh, your energy's broken. Yeah, you're always sitting around, and I always like to go out and do things. Yeah. And you're like, no. I What's with him? Watch football. And... Well, I... I man. Dear Danny, yeah. she discovered your watch broken. <laughs> uh, I would probably say my, uh, my romantic uh, personality kind your of... Your romantic personality's broken, all yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, she I said, no, so. you know what's broken? Your heart was broken. Because it took me a long time to give in to you, and every time... What? What do you mean, what? My heart broke. I don't understand. What it broke. Get trust out me. Of here. <laughs> Who was the aggressor know. in this relationship? Oh, uh, definitely. Him. You can't tell. I am. You yeah. chased her. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Until she caught you. Yeah, definitely. It took me a long time. <laughs> long, but, you know. long. How long did it take you to catch to ch chase her? Probably like two months. Oh, good. Long well, that's time. That's a yeah. long time. Boy, huh? wow, that is a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Darren, I'm gonna say my um. My cleanup ability. Your cleanup ability was broken. <laughs> yeah, I hate to clean. I'll well, just I don't blame throw things around and just let All right. it be. Sherry said she got you home, found out your hands were broken. Almost right. Almost, not quite. <laughs> your hands don't work. They do not okay, work. Okay, my hands. Let's go to Mr. <laughs> Romance here. Roy, got this you home, is, found out. It's a tough one. I'll have to say uh, my uh, coolness. I'm not as hip as I used to be. I'm kind of a. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks I'm a. Well, she thinks. I, I, I think I'm still there, but. She yeah, we noticed you're wearing a 1960s golf shirt. Uh, yes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she said, you know what was broken? Your shoulder was broken. My sh oh. Okay, before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer! It's a fabulous Caribbean cruise! You'll spend one week aboard a Costa cruise ship, Europe's leading cruise line. Visit such ports as St. Thomas, Grand Cayman, Ocho Rios, and Costa's private island. Experience cruising Italian style from Costa Cruises. Back to you, Bob.
Okay, let's find out who's going on the Caribbean cruise. 25 point bonus question. Gentlemen, at what exact time of day or night would you say you two were pronounced husband and wife? Give me your answers in AM and PM. Couple number three, Roy and Rhonda with 10. 25 will give you 35. Roy, if you get it right, you'll be in first place. If you miss it, you go home in last place. Oh, my God. Uh, I'd say... Uh, what time? 4.30 p.m. 4.30 p.m., she said. 4.30 p.m., you got it. <laughs> Couple number one, Danny in Maryland with 2025 gives you 45. Danny, what do you say? Uh, I would definitely say... Uh, 9 o'clock a.m. 9 a.m., she predicted you would say... You got there a little early, didn't you? Uh, 10.30 a.m., couple number two, Darren and Sherry with 2025 gives you 45. Darren? I'll have to say 5.30 p.m. 5.30 p.m., she said exact time was 5 p.m. All right, couple number four, Derek and Carol. You have 2025 gives you 45. Get it right, and you're our grand prize winner today. 3 p.m. 3 p.m., she said it was 1, 2.30 p.m. That means a couple number three, Roy and Rhonda, you're our newlywed game grand. Congratulations to you. Thanks to all of our couples. Hey, and thanks to you, I'm Bob Eubanks. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.